Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today is day number 208 after having gastric bypass surgery and today I'm going to go get some clothes. When you have weight loss surgery, um, you don't want to go all crazy and buy a whole bunch of clothes when the time comes because you're losing a lot of weight so fast that there's no reason to buy more than two pairs of clothes at a time and you think, oh my gosh, two pairs of clothes? You're just going to wear it over and over and over again? Yes, I do. Um, but that's okay because you know, it's not like I really go anywhere that's important where I have to dress up and things like that. I just do the same thing, you know, the housewife, the mom, the, you know, yard work, whatever. So it doesn't really bother me much. And it doesn't matter because, you know, before when you're really overweight and really, really unhealthy like that, you know, you're always constantly sweating and, you know, you don't feel so clean all the time and you feel like you really do need to change all the time, if not maybe twice a day or something like that so it really doesn't bother me it's like I can wear the same outfit for like two days before having to wash it now because you know I'm not sweating all the time and I feel healthier and a lot of weight's coming off so I don't feel so unclean you know it's something that you go through when you have a weight issue now don't get me wrong I still do but it's nowhere as bad as it used to be and it's just amazing how much life gets better you know as the weight comes off it really just surprises me and amazes me like uh, how much I've missed in life and what my weight has done to keep me from doing things in life because the more it comes off the more I'm able to do the more I'm able to enjoy people do what you can to get that weight off of you whether you do it natural or do it with surgery whatever you need to do because it gets so much easier it just amazes me how much harder the weight makes your life you know because I'm able to do a lot more compared to you know winter of last year and that was only almost seven months ago now I can't imagine what another six seven months is going to do for me you know because I started going to the gym and lifting weights that's all I'm going to do is just lift weights because I get enough cardio at home so I just want to work on building muscle and strengthening my body and working on balance and um health with my joints really so um I just wanted to drop in and just kind of give you a little motivation. So if you have stories, if you struggle with weight, if you've been hurt in any kind of way, whether physically hurt or somebody put you down, made you feel like garbage because of your weight or for any other reason, let me know because I want this to be a channel where we can come together, you know, talk about these things. We can vent, we can share stories. We can let some of the stuff go if that's what we need to do and find some support from each other guys support each other here don't bash people down because life is hard enough without people making it harder for each other life life is a drag it really is and we don't need people adding fuel to that fire you know let's share our stories and maybe we can help get over some things you know i read a lot of people's comments and their stories and everything and i appreciate it i love hearing people's um journeys you know their successes the failures you know i failed a million times of trying to lose weight and that's why i had to end up having surgery because i just can't do it on my own so don't think you're you know just some loser or something one person had comments saying i feel like a loser because i can't ever lose the weight on my own and i've said a million times in my videos i could never do it because it's hard it is ridiculous hard to lose weight on your own it really is you go months and months and months doing what you need to do and you just get like very little to no results. It's ridiculous. It's so easy to have a problem, but it's so hard to get rid of the problem. It really is. You know, you agree? You agree. Well, anyways, um, I just wanted to drop in and just say, hey, um, let's see, have I had anything? No, it's only like 11 o'clock in the morning right now. I'm going to have a really busy day. Um, I did happen to have a little bit of salad. It wasn't much. Um, of course, there were some chicken in there, and my stomach caught it. I tried to sneak it in, but my stomach still said, mm -mm, we don't like that. Go back. I don't know what it is about chicken. It's chicken and corn. Corn is just another thing. My stomach, in any way, shape, or form, my stomach does not like corn. So I think I'm done with corn now, which is fine. I hear corn's not that good for you anyways, so maybe it's just a blessing in disguise. So I had a little bit of salad, and sometimes instead of using a dressing, I'll actually just like squeeze a bunch of lime juice on it. I know it sounds weird, but I like it that way. 
it's pretty good and it's really refreshing you know and it's a lot healthier than like ranch or italian sauce or something like that or italian dressing my bad <laughs> italian dressing so we'll just keep trying but as long as i'm still getting protein in that's what's important if you're gonna have surgery you have to have protein don't let your muscles turn into goo and that's why i'm still going i'm gonna go back to the gym and i'm working on my muscles now because i don't want to turn into a pile of goo i'm gonna i'm eventually gonna be skinny where i want to be but i don't want to be skinny and just flying in the wind or something like i also want to build my muscle back so well anyways i have to get going i'll see you guys later have a good rest of the day bye